Okay, boys and girls, as I slowly sink into this incredibly deep snow, today I wanted to talk about why I think that the Falk Neven A1 is really the ultimate winter survival knife. Now, admittedly, the demo I just did to kind of show this thing probably wasn't the exact best demo or maybe the most comprehensive, but essentially I just wanted to show you guys how quickly and how efficiently the good old Falk Neven A1 can chop up some thumb to thumb to half wrist thickness trees things that you'd be using to make uh, you know fire lays things that you'd be using to craft shelters down and dirty stuff that you would be doing in a survival situation in the winter of course it is the winter now so uh, perfect time to test it. Now, the primary reasons why I think that the Falk Neven A1 is an excellent winter survival knife option is for a few reasons. The first really has to come to this handle. Now, the handle is good because one, it's rubber, it has a lot of grip, and so when you're holding it with gloves or with mittens or oversized, you know, it's obviously not the size of your hand, you still have a very grippy, very spacious place to put your hands. Now, like I said, it is also very grippy too, so when you are hacking away at things, the knife isn't just going to slide right out of your hands and straight into the snow or into you or into any of your equipment. It is going to stay reasonably and pretty well uh, in your hand and allow you to hold the knife without having to grip it very hard. So the grip... The grip of the Thermarun rubber is really nice. The other thing that is very handy about the grip is that it really doesn't get cold. Unlike other uh, types of handles, things like micarta, wood, or especially metal, it is a very temperature neutral handle. So the fact of the matter is you're going to be able to hold this knife for quite some time and it's not going to cold soak your hand or steal the heat away from your hands. So that is a very nice feature for the winter. And of course, this being fully rubberized, there's no tang exposed anywhere aside from at the very end pommel. So you aren't going to be coming into contact with any portion of the handle, keeping your hand as warm as possible. So next to that, and this is something that I think a lot of people generally dislike about the Falknevens, but the thing that is actually pretty handy about these things for winter survival and general wilderness outdoors kind of uh, practice or survival practice is the fact that it has a very thick, very chunky blade. This blade is very thick, overbuilt, and very robust. And on one hand, that makes it very tough and very durable for the winter. And on the other hand, it makes it very heavy and nice to swing. Honestly, it's not too bad to actually do chopping with. And the fact that it is a thick blade paired with a convex grind means that you have a very heavy stock of steel that is able to chop and do more industrial tasks like batoning um, with greater ease but at the same time that convex grind is very very sharp and I think that that's evident we see me chopping through these small bits of willow <clears throat> And while willow certainly is not the hardest wood in the wilderness up here in Alaska, it is still a wood and it is not the easiest to chop, but this uh, convex grind paired with the heavier stock of steel makes really, really short and quick time of doing these tasks. So it is a very nice uh, kind of pairing between the steel thickness and the grind, allowing you to have a very sharp, very keen edge, but at the same time too, having something that is very robust. The last feature that I think really makes the Falk Neven a very good or very um, useful blade in the winter, obviously the winter is quite wet and quite snowy, and while all the snow is the moisture just frozen so it's not imminently sitting on your blade. If you are around a campfire, if you are exposed to the snow long enough, some of it will inherently melt. And so having a blade that is stainless or made out of stainless steel makes the care and the ease of maintenance that much greater. So you don't have to worry about this blade developing rust or really um, corroding at all. In fact, it has a triple layer laminate, so there's a VG10 core, and on the outside is stainless steel um, 
that really prevents just the blade from rusting. So once again, if you are operating in wet, snowy environments, especially if it's around you know, freezing where the snow is still snow, but gets wet very easily or melts very easily, uh, this steel will provide you a good amount of or a reasonable ease of maintenance. You aren't going to have to look after it or worry about it rusting very easily. So those are some of the primary reasons why I think that the Falcon Even A1 is an excellent wintertime survival knife. It's one of my go-tos and it is a very capable and really useful blade overall. It has a good length, good handle length, and a good weight and heft to it to do a lot of survival tasks with a good amount of ease, not to mention the perks that we just mentioned for wintertime survival as a specific time. So probably my favorite knife for summertime survival, but we'll get to that in another video. Overall, the Falcon Even A1 is definitely worth checking out if you are interested in a blade that is really capable and competent in a wilderness survival tasks when it's cold out. As always guys, God bless and I'm out.